So it's another night in the garage. Um, I actually just got home from work, going over a few things and making sure I have everything ordered what I need. Um, I'm sure as you guys know, when you work on a car during a big project, there is things you forget to order or things you decide that you want to change as you're working on it. So example is I'm working on the chassis harness right now. This is the lighting harness I made. And I decided that I wanted this removable douche connector. That way I can actually separate the harness from you know the main part if I ever need to remove it or service it. So I got that completed. It's not loomed yet, but that's kind of the rough rough deal is what I'm gonna go with right now. The other thing I forgot is I still need to wire the connector for the trailer, but uh, due to the way that on a Miata where your brake light is separate from the turn signal on a trailer The brake light is the turn signal. So I actually have to buy this box to convert the brake lights and the turn signals into one output That way the trailer lights work perfectly. So Lately, I've been doing more on the harness um, about 90% of the chassis harness is finally done um, so the one thing I still got to work on is the the fuel tech harness which is one of the things i'm planning now on the actual software i'm going to show you in a little bit when you actually configure all your inputs and outputs it actually tells you what pins are going to provide what function it makes it really easy when it comes to wiring the harness so as i showed you in here i got most of the stuff back here done my circuit breaker that's going to a solid state battery kill which makes it nice and then I'll show you on the inside of the car. This is the harness that goes back to the trunk, goes up through the panel on my terminal boards where I have all my connections. And the one scary part about wiring is this is the spaghetti coming from the fuel tech. The cool part about the fuel tech is the fact that the ECU is a digital dashboard, but the bad thing about it is the fact that the ECU is the digital dashboard. So you do have to run those wires a significant length, but the end result's actually really nice, so. All right, so I'm sitting in my room right now. Uh, just pulled up the fuel tech software. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things on it on how I've configured my car and how to display the wiring harness. So you can see here, I have all my inputs. Um, I'm using the TPS, I have a wastegate pressure sensor, a fuel pressure sensor, oil pressure sensor, back pressure, air temperature, engine temp, trans temp, wheel speed for the front right, drive shaft RPM, which will be on the differential, the two step, the trans brake, and engine coolant pressure. Um, my outputs, I have the blue is all uh, one through eight, is for the fuel injectors. Then I have my wastegate increase and decrease and my trans brake solenoid. All the gray is the uh, coil packs and then the yellow I'm actually not using. So over here, it actually gives you an option to click your wiring diagram and it actually shows you the pinout for both of the connectors. So if you can read here, you know, TPS, it says uh, it'd be white wire pin number 20 or oil pressure sensor white wire number four which will be pin 23 and same over here my outputs will be like trans brake solenoid which should be blue that goes to pin 20 so the way the fuel tech is it's actually really user friendly um i've never had an ecu of this caliber before so it's actually pretty overwhelming um you don't know what you're going to get yourself into jumping into a, a higher end ecu but from what I'm experiencing so far, and I haven't run the car with it yet, but just wiring wise and playing on the software, it's very user friendly and uh, I'm actually really looking forward to using it. It's big in the drag racing world right now. Um, yeah, so the last setup I had on my four cylinder, I ran a universal AEM harness, which turned out to be probably the worst thing I ever did because it didn't have enough functions that I wanted. You know, the boost controller wasn't all that great, so I had to get an external boost controller. To data log, you had to record your run, open up another page just to review the data log where everything on this platform is inclusive. 
So when I made the comment earlier about the dash display, I'm gonna pull it up right here. And I wanna show you exactly what the dashboard could look like. So it's completely configurable. Um, you know, you have your, your RPM and I can actually, let's say if I want this to be my manifold air pressure, I can change it to whatever I want. I can have it as my O2 sensor and save. And then even right here, it gives you limits. So if it's uh, too lean, it actually will pop up as an alert, which kind of saves your butt too. So you can actually configure four dashboards, which I'll probably only have one, but who's to say? That's It's gonna be new for me, so I'm probably gonna wanna play with all the bells and whistles. So, so far I'm pretty happy with my purchase on the fuel tech. It wasn't very expensive, but I feel like it's something that's definitely gonna help the car perform to the level that I want it to. So that's just kind of an overview on the electronic side of things. Um, hope you guys have a good night. Talk to you guys soon.